presenting to you guys the key to improving Brighton and I was just first brainstorming ideas about issues that I had with our school and honestly I couldn't think of too many but I just wanted something that I could relate to as well as our peers and I think that it's a really common issue in high school to be late to class especially because we have a large campus with a shorter passing period and I think one of the main reasons that kids are late to class is because we're locked out of the exterior doors especially since we have two separate buildings and our seminary building, so we have to exit the school sometimes, um, which causes us to be late. So, raise your hand if you've ever been locked out of the school. Okay, so clearly that's the majority of us, so I think it's definitely an issue that goes unnoticed among like staff, teachers, and faculty, but is really common among students. Either we've experienced it or we definitely hear like talk about it. Um, so I did a, a one question in my survey is I asked, have you ever been locked out? And 80% said yes more than once, which is a really high majority of students. So I think it's a very serious issue that we need to cover at our school. On the back of your paper, write down the longest amount of time you've been locked out. Or if you've never been locked out, just like a friend, whatever you've heard. <laughs> and then just hold it up whenever you're ready. Okay, yeah, so I think one of the highest times that I'm seeing is 15 minutes which is a big waste of time, especially in school. We could have spent learning or getting to class. So it's definitely an issue that we need to address. Okay, so then in my professional interview, I interviewed the vice principal, Justin Pitcher, and I asked, why do we have the doors locked? And he said it provides added security, single entrance points, and creates a barrier. And then in my survey, I also asked the students the same question, and they basically just echoed what Mr. Pitcher said, like threat of an intruder, keep shooters out, strangers out, basically all safety related. Um, but then the one thing that got my attention in the survey was these two responses. Then they said, I feel like it can keep people out, but it's not helpful for students who are late to class and suddenly can't get to their classes. And the other said, um, it's more of a pain than a blessing most of the time. Um, so my goal is to give students an option to upgrade their student ID for a small fee of less than $5 because the one thing I don't want to do is unlock the doors because they provide safety and I think that's very crucial in the world we live in today. Um, and I think student IDs would be a good thing to use because in the survey I conducted I asked how often do you have your student IDs and as you can see more than 50% of students always have their student ID. So it's a tool that we could use to make more useful, and I think that this can be done in three simple steps. Bring awareness, reprogram, and then purchase and issue out student IDs. Um, so bringing awareness would be done by making students and parents aware of the new upgrade they can make to their student IDs for a small charge. And what would first happen is an email would be sent out by the principal to all students and parents at Brighton, just addressing this new upgrade um, for the upcoming school year. And it would be sent out on the last day of this current school year, which is May 26. And basically um, in this email, it would be included, would be like benefits of purchasing one, why we're doing it, um, deadline decision dates, and then a link to purchase uh, the upgrade, which I think can be just done through the Bright and High website, like kind of the same place where you buy yearbooks at the beginning of the year. Um, there will also be a final decision deadline to purchase this upgrade, which is June 28th. This allows students and parents about a month to decide on purchasing one. And it's, we also need a deadline because we need to purchase the new student IDs so they come in time for the upcoming school year. And then if students join later in the year or they miss the deadline, they can still purchase one later. They just won't, you won't be guaranteed that it will come at the beginning of school year. The second step would be to reprogram the, the lock system on the exterior doors of Brighton High School. And this can be done by scheduling an appointment with the district IT service, who's the people 
that come and can reprogram the locks. And I was talking to the vice principal and he said it's fairly easy to do. So the appointment, some, the vice principal or one of the principals would need to call the district IT anytime from where the red dots are, where it's July 17th through the 28th. And then the appointment needs to be made where the green dots are, which is July 31st to August 5th, just so we have allows time for them to re be reprogrammed before the start of the next school year. Okay, now raise your hand if you have $5. It doesn't have to be here, but just like somewhere at your house, you have $5. Okay, so that's definitely major of a majority of us, and that brings me to my third objective, which is purchase and issue out student IDs, um, which can be done by buying HID cards for students with the upgrade and issue out the new student IDs to those students at Brighton. Um, I think we're fortunate to have a new school with some of the latest technology, and so I think that... Um, buying the corresponding cards for the outdoor locks would be beneficial to the students. Um, so these are the cards that would be bought. They're the HID iClass SD clamshell card and they correspond with the outdoor locks, which are the HID multi-class SD card readers. And they're from the Alpha Cards website and they're $2.99 each. So as you all know, there is a thousand dollar budget. So buying a new student ID for all the students wouldn't be possible. But um, I did figure out a way that we could solve this. Um, so I, in my amateur interview, I interviewed McKenna Kill, and she, I asked her, would you pay $3 for, to upgrade your student ID, allowing you access to the exterior doors? And she said, yes, I would pay $3 for this upgrade because it would be beneficial and would have saved me time getting into class. So my solution to this issue is to charge students $3 for this upgrade. Um, I really think this is a low cost that students would be willing to subsidize for the benefits they're going to be getting out of having access to the doors. Um, if 300 students confirmed to buy one, that's only 23% of the student body like currently. And I think a greater percentage of students would be interested in purchasing this. Um, so I'd start out by buying 300 cards, which would cost about $900, but leave room for taxes and shipping costs. Um, but more cards can obviously be purchased once we have confirmation from the students, and we will get this through the email that will be sent out in like May through June. Um, and then, um, according to the Alpha Cards website, um, these cards are easy or simple to use and are compatible with all HID proximity card readers. PVHD HID cards are easy to print on and create designs. So in my professional interview when I was talking to Justin Pitcher, I also asked who prints our student IDs, like does it cost anything, um, all of that type of stuff. And he said that Live Touch Photography basically provides the service to us for free um, in exchange for just like allowing us allowing them to take our photos. So we wouldn't have to worry about that cost. And um, yes, the school is initially gonna have to pay money to buy these cards, but they're basically gonna be reimbursed and it's gonna be like a no cost plan because the students are gonna be paying that small fee of $3. Okay, hold up your fingers how likely it would be to purchase this upgrade, one being unlikely and five being likely. Okay, so clearly that's a lot of fours and fives, definitely majority. And then I just wanted to touch again on the benefits. Students would have access to the exterior doors at Brighton. Um, more access to doors would even out the flow of students throughout the building. And then worrying about being late to class because you were locked out will no longer be an issue. And that's my thing.